Thank you guys so much for joining us. I'm Katie Kamen with Live 5 News, and I am joined by Alexis Simmons and Kathleen Montgomery with the Charleston County Library System. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. So we're talking about all the amazing programs that y'all have to offer. Let's first start off by talking about the library system is more than just books. You guys have so much going on. Tell me a couple of things or tell me about that concept. Absolutely. A lot of people think of books when they think of libraries, but we have 18 branches and you can find so much more than that. I think one of the really cool things that we offer are explore passes. So you can actually check out passes to local attractions like the Gibbs Museum, the uh, Children's Museum, as well as Charleston County Park. So I think that's a really cool thing that we offer. Definitely, and we have other non-traditional items that you can check out with your library card, including telescopes, hotspots, Chromebooks, so we're really trying to um, get those items in the hands of the community. Absolutely. And we were talking about how the library card is a powerful thing. It is September. It's library card sign up, uh, sign up month. What is that? Why should people sign up to get a library card? Yeah, so if you don't have a library card, you are definitely missing out. I think Kathleen can agree because there's just so many resources that are available. And I think one of the really cool things is that libraries have evolved. When you walk in, these are bright spaces. There's books on the shelves. There's digital resources. But we also have what we call creative studios in some of our branches where you can access sewing machines. You can access 3D printers. Some people use some of our equipment that we have at branches to create their own videos, record podcasts even, record music. So there's a lot of really different things that people can tap into in addition to different programming Kathleen can also add to this that we have programming on things like crafts as well as legal legal classes um, health related things um, really almost anything you could think of to <laughs> help one-on-one -on -one tech help mm -hmm. we do tech classes instructions on how to use computers and September is really the month when we're encouraging everyone to come out and sign up for a library card if you don't already have one and you live in Charleston County or just check and see if yours is valid if you haven't used it in mm -hmm. a while you can give us a call or come into one of our branches I love my library card. I will absolutely plug it. Love it. Use it all the time. Um, and speaking of library cards, too, y'all have this incredible program where Charleston County school students can take part in all these fun programs. Talk to me a little bit, a little bit about the S-squared. Did I get that right? Yeah, the L-squared program L -squared. here in Charleston County. So students actually have automatic library access through this program. It's in partnership with the Charleston County School District. And basically, they can use their CCSC username and their student ID to gain access to our digital resources, as well as resource materials in person where they can check out items. Yep, so all they have to do is to come into any of our library branches and talk to a staff member to, to check out items, check out books, movies, DVDs, all sorts of those things, and then they can access our, um, our databases online, like Lexa said, um, and we're really encouraging all CCSD students to check that out. Yeah, and no library card is required for that. It's all through um, access through their student ID and their username as well. How amazing is that? And, you know, it's back to school time. Kids have been back to school for a couple weeks. Y'all wanted to tell me a little bit about the Kids Cafe program. Yes, Kids Cafe is our after school snack program at a few of our branches around the county. Um, you can check out the schedule online on our website, but we serve snacks and meals at some of the branches, and it's really just a way to um, meet the needs of the kids. Anyone under 18 can go into those branches and um, get a free and healthy, nutritious snack that's also delicious. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really encouraging kids to check that out. We know that the library is a safe and engaging place for them to come after school. We want them to be here in our spaces, using our resources, socializing, attending programs, um, waiting for their parents to pick them up, and the ability to offer a snack or a meal after school really um, makes these spaces more engaging uh, and uh, it, it meets their nutritional needs as well as their um, encouraging them to uh, engage with us. Absolutely. Anything else you want to add about that or, or any of the other programs that y'all have? We want people to know that libraries are welcoming spaces. We want people to feel welcome when they walk in through the door. Um, our staff are extremely passionate about what they do. So if you have any questions about literally anything, we are here to help you and figure that answer out for you. Um, so just come check us out. We, like I said, we have 18 at library locations. So there's going to be a branch somewhere near you. So definitely find that by going to ccpl.org. And you can find out all about our other programs that are coming up, as well as the Kids Cafe schedule and other things if you'd like more details. Well, I'm feeling excited. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Yes, thank you. For more information about all of these wonderful things going on, head to our website at live5news.com. Back to you.